We don't. But, we already uh, have a title. Yeah. It's uh, the Dead Radio Podcast. Moss Spectacular Three. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. <laughs> yeah. Where does that come from? It's just. It's, it's the third it's, it's movie a Fast of and the Furious uh, movie. Fast, Fur- Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> so how you guys doing? Everybody good? Yeah. Holidays are upon us. Hey. Um, at least for um, we know Peter where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> I guess kinda. I don't know if um. The holiday, I know the solstice is, mm-hmm. I mean, this is... a couple days away. It's yeah, what, the yeah. 22nd? No. Yeah, we... Yeah. I think Can I ask, is that, is that the longest, uh, the, the, the shortest day of the year, then it's going to get longer and longer and longer? Exactly, yeah, because right. it's, it's the night starts to go shorter, and uh, it's like the most ancient sun festival, right. uh, at least in the northern hemisphere. Right. So uh, that's why the Christians stole it from the pagans. Yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm interested yeah. in all this, by the way. Yeah, yeah, they, oh, they, yeah, they just decided what day... They were going to celebrate Jesus. Yeah. Well, and Earth. what's interesting yeah. about it, when you think about it, um, Constantine is the Roman emperor who declared first in 313, he said, all religions are cool. You could mm. worship anything you wanted to. So that was kind of like a religious freedom act in ancient mm. Rome. Right, that was the first one. Then uh, later towards the end of his reign, uh, he had been inspired by a symbol of a cross in the sky for one of his military victories. So he figured, okay, Christianity, maybe I should move in that direction. Mm. He was interested in uh, um, the sun god, Sol Invictus, and that was always celebrated on December 25th. So that was his first sort of monotheistic leanings. Then just like a few days before he died, he got baptized a Christian, which kind of later Christians were like, yeah, that's kind of a jip. Like you should have been a Christian before that instead of just like squeaking in at the last minute. Yeah. Yeah. But right after he died. But that's the greatest part about it. Yeah, well, that's that's the whole Christian thing. Like, oh, you can murder everybody, but as long as you say, I'm in, just before you die, then you're in. Uh, Which, of course, is probably why there's so many people in that church that do such bad things. Yeah. Uh, But then the next uh, Pope Julius... Uh, or was it Julian? He was a pope right after uh, Constantine died. He's the one who had the, an, an, a council that established the idea that the 25th would be Jesus's birthday. Because beforehand they were saying it was like May or April, but because now there was this big influx of pagans, because Rome is now cool with that and, and Constantine got baptized, suddenly it's like, okay, that's the highest pagan holiday at the point in Rome, so we'll just stick Jesus's birthday yeah. there and cultural that appropriation started, but it, but it was like is. in the, the like the mid 300s mm-hmm. so christianity was around for over 300 years before christ got put into that festival yeah. huh jerks <laughs> <laughs> and so we're and trying we're... to take him keep him out actually <laughs> yes I, I don't even know there was festivals back then i don't even know the guitars or anything like that back then. <laughs> well, yeah. they had well, lutes and kitheras and things yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. lutes and shit <laughs> well, they just they were sat around ate Flutes. grapes and fucked each other. Yeah, yeah. Played, played, played the fucking harp. <laughs> well, the Romans had the Saturnalia, which started mm. around December nineteenth and went through like the twenty seventh, and that was all kinds debauchery, of debauchery. Right? Yeah, debauchery, yeah. orgies, <laughs> gift giving. Uh, they also did things where uh, <laughs> the masters would serve the slaves dinner, even though the slaves made the dinner. The masters would serve it to them as sort of uh, saying, like, you're not so bad. It was kind of almost... Like, that's their version of I have a black friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. Or tipping the, uh, the garbage men. Well, it might be. I- yeah, you give them a, a $22, bottle, dollar, $22 bottle of Jack Daniels once a year. <laughs> and you're like, I'm really nice to my garbage man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Peter, how, do you... Do How do anything? you spend the holidays? <laughs> oh, you know, it, it, do you, you know do, do, well, Christmas, I think, to me at this, well, not to me, but to most people, is kind of a secular event. Oh, absolutely. Uh, like Thanksgiving, it's, yeah. it's, it's a festival. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when you actually kind of look at the history of it, it's very interesting because the whole Santa Claus thing and all of that is kind of late to it. Like St. Nicholas was stuck on there at one point. And he doesn't look like Santa Claus, really. You know, they depict him as having a beard, and he's like a patron saint of children or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, the fat, fat, rosy. Well, I'll tell. Like I'm going to tell you where that. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Well, see, this is very interesting because uh, originally that uh, night before Christmas uh, poem that was in like the 1820s or early 30s, Santa is depicted as as being a little pudgy, but also wearing fur. That uh, he's not dressed in what you consider traditional Santa garb at all. And it was like 1931 that this artwork was done for Coca-Cola that took some of those. And that became 
Santa. What Santa is. So, yeah. so Coca-Cola. just some artist yeah. Yeah. interpretation. Like, but, but that like shows you within, that within our grandparents' lifetime. Yeah. You know but, what I mean? But, like, but it just shows you that Christmas yeah. is all about commerce. Yeah. That's really the American truth about the whole thing. Christmas is commerce. That's why we have Black Friday in advance because you're buying all the shit for Christmas. Everybody's trying to, to, to market things and, and you know all of the, the music that's done is meant to like lull people into this you got to get ready for this you got to do this it's very kind of social mind control sort of thing yep but but the santa claus thing is very interesting because there is a mythological figure that is fat and bearded and sort of bald and that's the roman uh, and greek god selenus mm-hmm. who was uh, basically uh, an offspring of pan who taught dionysus how to drink and he's often nice. depicted like yeah. in in friezes and in statues as being he's kind of fallen out of his clothes but he's a fat bearded white bearded dude Who's the god of joy and drinking and 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 having a good time? So that's why he's jolly. I think I Adam just found. I get on board with that. I think Adam just found yeah. his new uh, his new yeah. deity. Smoking strong, smoking long, pack another bone in the Pyrex bone. Take another hit until your feelings gone. It's that medical baby from California. Keep up on ya. I'm a charmer. Little bit of game, good marijuana. I'm the type of dude that's gonna walk on water when my name call, make it as a hip hop author. I'm back to talking. Back to flaunting, said them all words and I got to walk in. Said I couldn't dribble and I got to cross him. Call me off the bench and I bought like Jordan. Gold is foreign, my frame's is Saki. Big face watch, so these hoes gon' watch me. Big face, hundred to sniff my coke up. Got that numb mouth, screw face. Thought I-